Hello, my people. It is Jorena from Kelly and Nate, and yes, Nate got a haircut. It was time for it to go. So, the mullet is gone. I told you guys it would be going eventually, so definitely just wanted to get cooled off a little bit, because it gets kind of hot with all those lo those locks of hair. Um, so, we got a bunch of stuff this week. i um, show you the comics we got, plus got some boxes in um, from some friends of mine, so wanted to show you, and we got a haul too, um, from my boys the Renegades, so without further ado, let's show you what we got in. Courtesy of Hypno, of course, our weekly pulls, um, so let's get started. Is that you over there? And you guys know I'm in collecting the Uncanny X-Men 1 through 300, yes I said 1 through 300, so there has been a lot of issues that I've been catching up on. Um, I'm pretty much done with like one, except for onesies, twosies, from everything from about one, one o ten or one two, one o ten, one ten up. Um, so now I'm just trying to go backwards, getting a lot of the Silver Age stuff. So, but there's a couple of holes here and there that I needed to fill, so to speak. Um, so one of them, of course, was this one, uh, number two fifty five. We got this one. Of course, this is. The Freedom Force. Um, if you don't know what Freedom Force is, of course, that's Mystique, and that was. Uh, you also had Avalanche, you also had Destiny in there. So, the group of people um, that was hired by the government, pretty much. Um, I don't know. Sounds like Suicide Squad to me. You know, just the Marvel version. Just saying. But yeah, that that's a great book for that one. And then we got um, Inferno. Issue 242. Of course, this is X Men um, Possess as well, but it's got the X Factor in there with Archangel in it. Alright, now on to some modern books from this week. So, what we got is in no particular order uh, Death of Inhumans. And this, of course, is number three. Um, Donny Cates has been killing it. You guys know he's probably my writer of the year this year, is Donny Cates. He just has been doing phenomenal. Um, and this series has been awesome. I can't wait to see what happens. Um, especially if they, you know, if they actually do stay with the killing off of the people they did, you know, in the first couple of issues, it'd be interesting to see, like, they're no crap dead. And there is no more any humans. So we'll have to see. All right, next up we got an Infinity Wars tie-in as Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course, this is, you know, it's got Scourge and it's got a Thor froggy. Angela, Valkyrie, the Destroyer, and I don't know who the other little guy is with the glasses, so we'll have to see. And then, of course, I picked up the variant, uh, shows them fighting Gamora, so definitely needed that one. And this week started the Cosmic Ghost Rider um, covers, so if you guys don't know, um, they're going to be doing a lot of those covers and variants out there. So I love Cosmic Ghost Rider, so definitely need it. But you can't start it right without having the regular issue, number three. And then the variant, number three. Which is cool because he's actually riding a star. So come on, people. Um, also big this week, of course, was Thanos Legacy comes out. Um, number one came out. Kind of a bridge between... Um, Thanos and Infinity Wars, kind of like, so what happened? Um, but this is also done by Donny Case saying Thanos wins again. I mean, that was one of the titles going for it. Um, we got the uh, Ron Lim variant. And an oldie but a goodie, um, we got the George Perez um, cover variant. And I was talking about the Cosmic Ghost Rider variants. This one is another one. This is the Thanos Legacy Cosmic Ghost Rider variant. We got Avengers number seven. One of my favorite books of the year because he just he just did an actual monster again. Uh, Immortal Hulk. This is gonna be number five. And then the Cosmic Ghost Rider variant. We also got Captain America, number three. The uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider variant, Cap versus Cosmic. And we also got the Deadpool versus Cosmic Ghost Rider, 
which is cool if you see he's on a Deadpool's on a trike versus Ghost Rider. So freaking awesome. Um hey, talking about Deadpool. Here we got Weapon X number twenty three, Sabretooth, and Deadpool on the cover. Uh getting close to the end of X Men Gold. We have X Men Gold thirty five. Only one more issue after this one before they call it quits, and we go to Uncanny X Men. Um we got Astonishing X-Men. This is number 15. And then the Ghost Rider variant of it. We got Venom, First Toes, number two. Now this was an awesome read. Um, if you guys had not read it and you're a Venom fan, um, it's like my boy Venom thing. And of course, you know, Sandman, PR, PR, PR blog, Ugh, hard to say, man. Um, Go read this book. It shows who is the actual very first host of Venom. And it's not Eddie Brock. And it's not Deadpool. Um, those are the first ones on Earth that had them. But this talks about the original person who had it. And then, of course, we got the variant to Venom first host. So, yeah. That is our Marvel books for this week. And we did get some other stuff, too. We got... Hellboy, Omnibus, number four. This is Hellboy in Hell. This is volume four of the Omnibus series. We've only got one more to go, and that's going to be the short stories, too. So I'm kind of interested now to see if we're going to get the rest of the, sh the shows. You know, we're talking about Abe Sapien and all of them, because I kind of want to get all of them um, to go with the series. I love how they've been doing it, too, with these. Because, um, like, I need the BP... RD and I need you know of course Lobster Johnson but the, there's just so many stories that goes with this you know so I can't wait to get them all together so yay we got an omnibus all right on to some other independents or or even DC we'll see like I said non Marvel um, we got Sandman the dreaming number one I think this is cover B and this is cover a from Sandman of course, this is under their Vertigo subline, so freaking awesome. Uh, we got Justice League number seven, Curse of Brimstone number six, The Unexpected number four, and lastly for these comics these weeks is Aphrodite IX, and this is just a one shot. Um, I love Aphrodite; that was one of my favorite series that was done back then. So, glad to see it back. Um, hope to see more. I mean, they, they're doing Cyber Force, you know. We've got that Aphrodite V going on right now. So, definitely want to see what happens with there. But, we got a bunch of other stuff we got in the mail. Um, and so, let's go look at it. Uh, okay, I got a little package. How you doing? This is from... Mr. Paul Coolis. Uh Paul is a comic book guy, just like I am. Um, he said he had some stuff to send me. He wanted to send me this. So uh, he says, do not bend. And of course, they bent all the corners up. So let's see how it is on the inside. Um, he t I know it's in here, but I'm just so excited to see it, um, so to speak. Because you guys know how much I love artwork and how much I love other stuff. And he, Paul said, hey, I got something to send you. I'm like, what are you sending me, Paul? And he's like, just don't worry about it. Just when you get it, let me know when you get it. Okay, so I told him I got it, you know, today. Um, so I definitely want to open it. Man. Man, you did some good tape work, brother, on this one. Oof. All right, got that one. Try not to try not to disrupt anything on the inside. Well, I was going to use this box again, but that's kind of a non-player now. Alright. 
Let's see here. We have a technical difficulties, people. Spells manhandle it. Uh, yeah. It's really tight in there. Things done. And now let's see what's in here. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. dude. Baby Jesus. Look at this, people. Now, he told me he was doing this. Um, and I told him, dude, this is going to be awesome. But just seeing it in person is freaking awesome, man. Man. Paul, you freaking outdid yourself, man. That is awesome. And not just one, but two. Look at this. Now, yeah. Spidey versus Wolverine. This is a these are amazing, dude. I mean, I love artwork. I mean, and but dude, you really outdid yourself on these, man. Thank you, Paul. Dude, thank you so much, brother. And there was something else in here too. He said, "Don't forget it." Oh, this is one of my some of my favorite comics of all time. Like of all times. Daredevil. This is number 181. One of my favorite comics. Um, and he said open it and look on the first page. So that's what we're going to do. see that well but look at that that'd be Frank Miller people Frank Miller signed the book holy sweet Jesus man Paul this is nuts dude this is freaking crazy just see I mean just the artwork alone dude is I love it man but to also send me this Frank Miller signed book man that's amazing um, dude, I'm gonna cherish. I'm always gonna cherish these, man. Thank you so much, Paul, dude. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it, man. You didn't have to do this, and you're an awesome brother. I'm gonna put that right back in that Milo. <laughs> Protect that book. Um, thank you, Paul. All right, that's not it, people. We had some more cool stuff today. Um, so I met up with my boy Fernie this last weekend. Um, of course, I got some stuff from Juan, um, like I always do. Um, the first thing I bought, though, was not for me, though. It was from my boy, Big Dub. Um, Big Dub, he wanted this Captain America, so I got him hooked up with it. So it is the SH Big Warts uh, Civil War Captain America. It was already opened, um, but everything's good on the inside. So, Big Dub, we got you, man. All right, now let's show you what else I got. Um, we got some kits, a little bit different. We got the, these are the de demoniacal fit, I think that's how you say it. Um, this of course is the blue 
Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, which is, you know, the highest um, version of Vegeta, of course, from Dragon Ball Super. We got that one. Uh, we got... I'll just stay there, then. We got the Yamcha and Tien kit. So I can upgrade those bubbles. And coolest one, I think, out of all of them, is this one right here. The red-haired Super Saiyan God Vegeta head. So... These are all, of course, from my SH Fig Warts. Um, just, you guys know I love my DBZ. And then he sent me a bunch of these things. Um, you know, I, I love doing, uh, like, stands and whatnot. He sent me a big old bag of uh, flights, uh, SH Fig Warts stands. And then he sent me a uh, Stage 4 Act kit. So another uh, set of three of those. So... I is good to go for stands for a long time. Um, so, thank you, Juan, and thank you, Fernie, for going to pick these up for me. I really appreciate it, man. Um, but that's not all we got, either. We also got... Uh, uh, a case of legends. Now, I've, everybody's been finding these, and I've seen them once or twice, you know. But I played the waiting game on this. And the reason why is because it's so damn hard to find stuff around here. It's not easy just to order it by the case sometimes. Um, and ironically, I got one of these a long time ago uh, from Big Bad Toy Store. But I was being good, and I waited. So, I'm just going to take these out and show you what we got. Ooh. I don't got mangled. Uh, we got the Deadpool Wave. Of course, this is a Madcap one. X-Men suit one. And you get two of them in there, in that case. We got Lady Deadpool. Y'all can't even see me now. So much, so much toys, so much comics. We got another Lady Deadpool. Which is, this kind of works out for me because I like to put at least... I like to keep one of them on card for like Deadpools. Um, so one of these will go on the wall and then one of these will go on the wall. And then we got Deadpool and his boxers. All new Wolverine. Oh yeah, finally. Bishop, I've been wanting this guy. And then last but not least, we got Omega Red. So, I have the whole wave. I'm happy. I got the whole thing. So now I can build Sora. Um, so, Juan, Fernie, thank you, brothers. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you. Um, and what you guys do for me, I really appreciate it. A lot of people don't, don't get an opportunity to do what we do. Um, and I really do thank you guys. We got one more box. So... Let's see. let's move these comics real fast. I'm gonna need me a little bit of room to show you what's in the box. All right, put y'all up there and put your legends over here. Okay, now I got a little bit of working room. Don't want to need it for this box. We got a we got a box, of course, as you can see. This is from my boy, Craig, who is, like everybody knows, not another retro channel. Um, he has his own, his own YouTube channel, of course, and like I said, I'll be putting uh, Fernie's and, and Craig's channels out there. Go check them out. Go check out Big Doe's channel as well. Um, he just went over 500 subs, so congratulations, brother. Um, Craig had found this um, down, he had had it in one of his videos in Dallas. Uh, I think it was Dallas. I think it was Dallas Toys or Madness, Retro Madness. Um, and I told him, I need it. I need it for my collection. And he said, I get you. And we got the Platinum Edition uh, set. This, of course, is, let me open it up, because they always do good with these. Of Hot Rod, Retgar, and Dumpyard. Or Scrap Heap, whatever they call them. They're all called different things. 
But these, of course, are the old generations classics versions of these guys um, to go with my season three set of Transformers. So, yeah, it, I'm almost there. All I got to get is Scourge and then the other Autobots, and then I can build that setup. I got a lot of the old um, other G1 stuff, so I wanted to do something a little different with Season 3 stuff. I wanted to have them all on this kind of scale. So, if you got a Scourge from Generations, hit me up. I need one uh, for my set. So, yeah. Let me just make sure nothing else in the box. Nope, we good. So, again, thank you guys so much. Uh, Juan, Fernie, um, Hypno, Craig... And then, of course, dude, thank you so much, Paul, man, for this artwork. I really appreciate it, man. I mean, I can't, I'm giddy over this. I mean, this is just some awesome stuff, dude. You just don't see this stuff every day. I mean, you look at this. I mean, look at these things. I mean, that is just amazing work done. So, uh, thank you so much, guys. Um, this has been your Redneck and Cali Nate. This has been today's haul. Um, hope you guys have a good week. Find what you're hunting for. Get what you get. And have fun with it. Alright. Y'all take it easy now and have a good one. Alright, alright, alright.